The John Wick series is without a doubt one of the best action thriller series ever created. The best part? A fourth installment is on the way. Yay! The pencil stabbing man is best known for his amazing combat skills, but he's just as great when it comes to shootouts. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the best shootouts from the John Wick series. At number 10, we have the parking lot scene in John Wick. John tries to murder Vigo in a gunfight, but fails in this scene of the first John Wick movie. He successfully lures Vigo out into the open after breaking into his money laundering operation and burning down his stockpile of cash. Using both an assault rifle and his trusty handgun, Mr. Wick kills several of Vigo's goons, but things don't go as planned. Kirill, the top enforcer for Vigo's organization, crashes a car into a parked SUV, which launches John off his feet and knocks him out cold. When he finally wakes up, he's strapped to a chair and about to be executed, that is, until Marcus steps in to save the day. The part parking lot gunfight isn't one of the series' most iconic action scenes, but it does have a few exciting moments. Plus, it was surprising to see Mr. Wick fail. The gunfight lasts for around a minute, making it one of the shortest in the series. The situation isn't helped by its very unremarkable setting. Next up, we have Killing Yosef, John Wick. Yosef, the thug who broke into John Wick's house, knocked him out, stole his car, and killed his dog. He's the killer assassin's main target from the start of the first movie until Yosef Yosef's father crosses the line and kills John's mentor, Marcus. The film builds up to Yosef's tragic end. John almost killed him in the Red Circle Club, but he made a mistake and let him get away. That's why he doesn't think twice about taking another shot at Yosef. He pulls out a gun and shoots the punk in the head before he can finish his sentence. Also, this is the only scene in which he ever uses a sniper rifle to eliminate his enemies. The cold killer also uses planted explosives, but the scene's over far too quickly to have any real impact. Moving on to Carfu, John Wick. When describing the many forms of action in the John Wick films, director Chad Stahelski frequently employed the figurative meaning of Kung Fu. The equivalent term for fighting with cars was naturally Carfu. Towards the film's climax, John Wick uses a handgun and sports automobile as weapons at the same time. His driving and shooting go hand in hand, whether he's gunning down people as he drifts past them or reversing into them and shooting through the roof as they roll across it. This action scene is full of exciting moments and is a good ending to the first scene on the airfield, which shows John's epic driving skills. In the opening sequence of John Wick Chapter 2, we got to see more of his driving skills in action, but there were no guns involved. Then on the list is Horse Fu, John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum. The addition of animal-based combat was one of the most major developments made to the John Wick franchise in the third film. In the first minutes of Chapter 3, John has to escape through a horse barn and later, Sophia's two attack dogs are part of a very intense action scene. For the most part, only the evil guys in this fight are armed, but once John Wick's on his horse and manages to grab one of his opponent's pistols, things really heat up. The sequence is packed with hilarious horse-related action comedy from the very beginning, long before our lead even mounts up. This is unlike any other fight scenario we've ever witnessed, from John controlling his horses, to kicking his opponents in the head, to wrapping the reins around one opponent's neck and dragging him across the ground. Following up, we have the motorcycle sword fight, John Wick 3. The Verrazano Bridge motorbike chase in John Wick Chapter 3 is one of the film's most memorable action scenes, since it has John fighting off six shinobi assassins at high speed. This extraordinary setup may look like the first of its kind, but it's actually not. Two years before John Wick Chapter 3 was released, the South Korean film The Villainous staged a fast-paced motorbike sword fight. More likely than a direct copy, Chapter 3 was probably just inspired by or maybe even a tribute to the Villainess. To be honest, the makers of the Villainess didn't just invent the sword-wielding motorcycle scene, they executed it better as well, making this one of the very few times that John Wick's action is inferior to that of its competitors. That's a drawback that lowers this shootout in the rankings. Still, it's a thrilling and memorable action scene that only fails when compared to other scenes, not on its own. Next on the list, the assassin montage, John Wick 2. John has to kill someone to pay back his marker. When he does, Santino D'Antonio, who also wants to join the high table, stabs him in the back. Winston, the owner of the New York Continental, warns D'Antonio against ordering a hit on John, but takes the contract anyway. Assassins from all around the city will now have John in their sights as they try to collect the reward money. Instead of showing each killer attacking John separately, there's a compilation of three different attempts to 
to kill him. The first assassin is a violinist who shoots John in the stomach. The second is a massive opponent who's unfazed by gunfire. Numbers three and four are a pair of assassins that Wick kills with just a pencil. The pencil killings are among the most graphic in the entire series, but they also prove that John deserves his legendary status by confirming a rumor from the first John Wick film that Mr. Wick was a serial killer. This compilation features excellent editing that seamlessly blends three distinct action scenes into a single exciting whole. At number four, we have the Antique Weapons Museum, John Wick 3. John's on the run in this scene, trying to make the most of the hour's head start Winston provided him. His time's up after he recovers some hidden goods from a library and gets into a battle with the huge Ernest. He's being chased by assassins from all sides and decides to take cover in a historic firearm museum where he uses many of the weapons on exhibit to defend himself. This is easily one of the best action sequences in the whole franchise, thanks to its flawless choreography, plenty of diversity, and multiple memorable kills. The fact that it emphasizes knives over guns is the only reason we didn't give it a higher score. The guns are there, but they're mostly used by John's enemies. In order to make John resort to other means of self-defense, Chapter 3 keeps a pistol out of his hands for a long period. It raises expectations for the third picture, which will likely return to the more traditional shoot -em up elements of the first two. Even though Wick mostly uses knives in this scene, the best part's when he makes a revolver out of the pieces of the many guns on display and fires a single shot to the head. Another on the list is Cassian, John Wick 2. When John kills Gianna D'Antonio, the person Cassian swore to protect, the two men, who used to respect each other professionally, become mortal enemies. Dueling with Cassian is a welcome change of pace from the usual John Wick action scenes, which typically see him facing off against dozens of opponents on his own. The pair had their first fight in Italy after Gianna was killed. They reach a standoff when one of them crashes through the windshield of an Italian continental. Before Chapter 2 comes to a close, John and Cassian have another confrontation, this time in the Big Apple. John wins their second fight more decisively, but Cassian's still alive and could come back to the franchise in the future. Number one on the list is the museum scene in John Wick 2. After the hit has been placed on John's head and he's closing in on Santino D'Antonio, they engage in a gunfight near the end of the film. A contract with John's life is worth $7 million, and after meeting with the Bowery King, he's given a pistol with just seven rounds, each of which costs $1 million. This raises the stakes for what John will do with those seven rounds. The fact that he uses them all to score headshots before switching to another rifle is both synonymous with what we think of Mr. Wick and also extremely thrilling. What follows is a drawn-out gunfight that takes place all throughout the museum before finishing in the reflections of the soul display. This gunfight in the museum has some of the tightest and most intense choreography of the whole trilogy. This fight stands out as the best gunfight in an otherwise great series. That's a wrap for this video. Which one was your favorite shootout scene from our list? And do you think we missed any? Let us know in the comments. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.